I think actually a good ad, what it does is it provokes. So I think what a good ad does is it doesn't just sit there, it engages someone and it makes you want to think about it and it can provoke a debate. And I think really good ads actually take a stand and provoke a debate. I think where JWT crossed the line was they put out imagery that desensitizes. I, and there's great responsibility when you put these things out there in the world and I think they crossed that line. They went from provocative to desensitization and I think that's wrong. Well, where is that line? Because when you talk about provoking, you know, it makes you think of our rap lyrics. Okay, well, clearly they're provocative, but are they okay? And as it comes to advertisements, yes, I remember this ad more than any other ad yeah. right now, but should I? And where does the responsibility lie and on whom? Well, I think there's there's a lot of responsibility. I think, I think actually what you remember it, but does it respect you? And I think good ads are provocative, but they also respect that you're going to have a point of view. So there's been a lot of ads that have been provocative. There's um, the ad, you know, the Tiger Woods ad, winning, you know, what is it? Winning takes care of everything. That, I think, is a good example. And you can say that these are both on the um, spectrum of offensive to women in some degree. So I might think that Tiger Woods is a cretin who cheated on his wife. But the fact of the matter is that ad provokes debate. It doesn't offend. It doesn't desensitize. It doesn't to, offend? I don't think it desensitizes to violence against women, which I think the J. Walter Thompson did. They put out imagery that can desensitize young people. But it to suggests that by women. winning, right, Tiger Woods can absolve himself of all his Sins. Bad behavior. But we, we can have a good we argument proven about and unproven. that. I happen to disagree with that, but but I'm not sh I'm not desensitized to it. I'm not I'm not grossed out by the imagery. It's provocative. It's going to get people. It's got lots of debate. It's very Nike. They're edgy. They always have a point of view. So I think it's actually appropriate for their brand to have that out there. Is it risky to have these type of celebrity endorsements in general? Because if you are the advertiser, you can control what you can create. You yeah. cannot control these celebrities, these titans who. You know, when you are a master of the universe, when you're Tiger Woods, are you always thinking about your brand, your image? Not so much. Or, or Lance Armstrong, for that matter. Do people yeah. identify brands with Lance? And if they hate Lance, do they hate the brands? Well, I think Tiger Woods and Lance are two also good examples. Because when you take on any celebrity, there's an element of risk. But Nike is such a powerful brand that I think this is really interesting. They're actually reframing Tiger Woods a little bit. You know, they're, they're the one who are coming out and re... And even though he said that phrase for years, right, he's always kind of said that when critics ask him about his game and comparing him to competitors. But by putting that out there, they're kind of saying Tiger Woods is a winner again. So I think it's the Nike brand coming through more strongly than Tiger Woods. The situation you don't want to be in is where the celebrity has more power than the brand. Well, if the so, brand is so strong, why do they need the risk of the Tiger Woods in the world? What you're saying is Nike is so strong, it doesn't matter. If Nike is so strong, why take on a Tiger? Why it's, take on a Lance? It's a good debate to have. Now, the Lance thing, you know, they walked away from him. They didn't walk away from Tiger Woods. And I think that's interesting because a lot of brands did walk away from Tiger. But Nike is a risk-taking brand. And again, I think it provoked a good debate. People are talking about this. There's good energy around the brand versus the well, J. Why? Because the energy is sexy? It's not cheating? No, the, the energy is around people having different opinions. And, and Nike's saying, listen, let's have a debate about this. And this is our opinion, and you can disagree with it. But the fact of the matter is that we're about sport, and we're about winning, and he's a great golfer. And I think it's just, it, it's provocative. So, Claudine, Nike likes edge. Mm -hmm. Car makers, Ford among them, typically don't. How difficult is it to persuade a client to go edgy, to go provocative, yeah. you know, to butt up against the line but not cross it? Yeah, I think it all starts with what the brand's purpose and position is. So you talk, take a brand like Nike, very challenging. It comes out, it says if you have a body, you're an athlete. You know, it's about winning. What I want. Um, a car brand that's meant to maybe carry my kids around to have that kind of a position. So you start from the brand's position. This is a brand, a car brand that's meant for families. It doesn't fit with their brand identity. Tiger Woods, even in his current state, does fit with Nike. So you've got to start with where the brand is. Families of. need to fit golf bags in the trunk. They don't need to fit bound and gagged women. Agree. <laughs> uh, is anybody going to disagree with that? <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> no. <saying. laughs>